assalamu alaikum my name is sara and today we are going to learn about a new topic and the topic name is pressure so in this video we will discuss about pressure we will discuss about force we will discuss about the relationship between the pressure and area so let's start with the force force and pressure they are same or different yes they are different how they are different how can you define force force is actually the push or pull okay force is just a push or pull and you can say this whenever there are two different objects there are two different surfaces and due to their interaction there is some change in one object that's called force got it and if we talk about the pressure you can define pressure is there is a force acting on some certain area right force acting on some certain area is called the pressure so let's talk about the formula and the unit of the pressure the formula is force over area right so and we know that the unit of the force is newton and the unit of the area is meter square we always take the area in meter square or maybe in centimeter square and whenever we talk about the volume we always take the volume in centimeter cube and meter cube so what is the unit of the pressure the unit of the pressure is called the pascal and 1 pascal is equal to newton over meter square so the main point we have discussed in the density video as density and volume are inversely proportional to the each other in the same way pressure and area are inversely proportional to each other whenever there are some words like sharp area is sharp area is pointed area is focused it means the area is less and small and whenever the area is small the area is small it means uh, the pressure is greater so in this video we will take the knife example we will take the example of the camel how the uh, desert is desert animal is camel and we will discuss about the flat heel and the pencil heels right which he has more area which he has less area so if you observe that truck ha are having large wheels why they have large wheels whenever their the area is greater the pressure is less so the trucks are having more area so the weight of the truck will be distributed to the area so this will create less pressure so if the trucks are going to the desert they will not sink down in the desert they can easily go there like big jeeps if you observe in the desert there are always the big jeeps right why because they have a um big wheels big wheels having large area large area so less pressure so now we will discuss the pressure and area examples one by one so let's start with the pencil heel okay so let's imagine that you are going to attend the wedding ceremony okay and you are wearing the pencil heels okay so now where is the pressure and where is the area now the weight of your body is actually the force the weight of your body is your force acting on a small area why because pencil heels have pointed at sharp end and as i told you whenever there is a word pointed whenever there is a word sharp it mean the area is less area is small so now weight of your body is actually acting on the area that is the pencil heel and that creates the pressure and we know this that if the area is less pressure will be high okay so now the weight of your body that is actually the force acting on the your heels pencil heels that is having a less area that creates the more pressure that is actually not good for our uh, heels and secondly it's not good for the wooden floor okay let's discuss about the second example and we will discuss about camels if you observe that camel has broad feet right allah taala has created each and everything perfect 
camel is a desert animal and due to their wide feet broad feet they are having a more area right so the weight of the camel is actually the force acting on an area that are actually the broad wide feet the reason is that creates the less pressure right if the just imagine the feet of the camels are like very delicate very narrow what will happen if the area is narrow it mean area is less and the weight of the camel will when it will goes towards the area the pressure will be high and if the pressure of the camel will be high they will sink down in sand they will not be able to walk in the sand right camel is a desert animal that's why allah taala has created camel a very beautifully they are having a wide a uh, feet wide feet mean they are having a more area so the weight of the camel is actually the force acting on the large area so now the weight that is actually the force is distributed on the larger area okay now we will discuss about the knife right if you observe the knife knife has a pointed end right very sharp very pointed so the area is less and for example i have apple in my hand i want to cut the apple so i want to cut apple i am applying force on an area less area pointed focus area so the pressure will be high and i can easily cut the apple is it clear okay that's all about the pressure area and force i hope this video will help you a lot thank you so much